Hey, Faith Alive. Today is Wednesday, April 8th. It's the beginning of Passover, and we're coming to you with our daily nuggets from the Word of God. So let's jump in. Uh, John chapter 14, in verse 1, Jesus is speaking, and he says, Let not your heart be troubled. He repeats it again in verse 27. He says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. I want to talk to you today about what are you saying. Uh, it looks like in this scripture that I could talk to you, I could take it several different ways, but I want you to see uh, the tie-in from what Jesus says here, my peace I give you, my peace I leave with you, and then let not your heart be troubled. That's something that we're going to have to do. So over in um, Matthew chapter 12, we see Jesus here um, speaking to his disciples. And um, let's, let's look, read the scripture and then I'll comment on it here. Either make the tree good and its fruit good, or else make the tree bad and its fruit bad. For a tree is known by its fruit. So, okay, he's not talking to his disciples here. He's talking to the Pharisees. He says, Brood of vipers, how can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now, go back to what he said in John uh, chapter 14. He said, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, my peace I give you. So, if he's saying here that out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks, then what are you speaking? If the peace that passes all understanding, if God's peace is truly residing in our hearts, then we're going to be speaking positive things. We're going to be speaking peaceful things. We're going to be speaking the Word of God. If we're troubled and we're agitated, if we have a lot of anxiety, uh, if we have fear going on in our lives, then we're going to be speaking those things. And Jesus said here, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Now, why is that so important for us as believers? Well, I want to show you in Mark chapter 11 just how powerful our words are. Because remember, uh, my question to you today is, what are you saying? Here we are uh, in a, in turmoil. Here we are in times that are unprecedented. We've never had the entire government, uh, we haven't had the entire country shut down, and it's, it's shut down on a global uh, stage. And so we could be tending to look at the news and looking at what is currently right now, and we could be troubled, and we could be agitated, and we could be fearful. But here, uh, from the scripture, Jesus says, my peace I give you. So peace is one of the fruit of the Spirit, and that resides inside of us. So what, what God wants us to do is let that peace reflect out of us in, in any situation. I've said this before, and, and you that know me know this to be true, that it's easy to be a Christian when everything's going good. But what about when we have hard times? I think most of you would agree that these are uh, trying times. These are troubled times that we're in right now in the last few weeks. We've seen things go from best economy to now everything shut down. And that causes uh, something to happen on the inside if you reflect on the news, if you reflect on what is. But if you've been grounded and built your life on the Word of God, you're going to be able to see, wait a minute, I'm supposed to let the peace of God come out. I'm supposed to be speaking what God says. Uh, you might have been laid off. So many people have been laid off, and they're, they're uh, fearful for lack because they don't have a paycheck coming now. But I want you to see that in the Word of God, Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all my needs according to His riches and glory. And so I want to be tapping into the riches of glory. I want to be speaking those things, believing those things, acting on those things. That's what's going to bring those things to me. You might say, well, I just heard this week that you know our business might not even reopen. Well, if you start speaking uh, what God says, your business might be the first to reopen. 
and you might be the first one to be called back. Start speaking what you desire. Don't let fear get in. Remember, Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. So speak positive words of God. So here in Mark 11, Jesus answered them in verse 22 and said, have faith in God. So that's where we're supposed to put our faith. Not in the government, not in, well, there's a stimulus package, and, and that's wonderful. If you get a check, that's great. But what if the check doesn't come? What are you putting your faith in is what I'm saying. What are you trusting in? If you trust in God, then the, the riches in his kingdom in heaven are going to be made manifest here in the earth, but we have to believe it, we have to agree with it, and we have to speak it. I'm going to show you right here. Verse 23, For truly I say to you, this is Jesus speaking, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things that he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. So here Jesus says, if, if you believe it in your heart and you speak it with your mouth, you'll have what you say. So say, my business will be the first to reopen. My, my job is the first one. They're going to call me first and bring me back. I'm going to be promoted because I remember I was doing my job over and above. I was doing my job, my work, as unto the Lord, and my boss recognizes that. So begin to see yourself, or maybe uh, you have a business and you've you know, had to scale back or even close. Begin to say that, that um, I decree and declare that God's going to take care of me. God's going to reopen my business. I declare that on the first day that I reopen, I'm going to have the best, biggest year of day I've ever had in my life in this business. And so, you know, your best day might have been a $3,000 day, I'm just saying. Uh, start speaking. I'm going to double that when we reopen. Things are going to be greater. Remember, this is not going to last forever. I know the, the news media is making it sound like we're going to be in this for months and years, but that's just not so. So don't let your heart be troubled. Stay true to the Word of God and believe what you say. And so if you believe what you say, what is it you're saying? Speak only the things you desire, just like God called those things that be not as though they were. And so I encourage you, don't be speaking fearful things. Don't be speaking what the news media, even what your friends might be saying. Agree with the Word of God and speak the Word of God and he will truly see you through because you will have what you say if you believe it in your heart. Amen. Good to see you today. We've got great news coming up, so be uh, watching for that. Uh, hope to see you again real soon.